What's going on guys? Eric Pate here, back with another video. You might want to know why there's a giant smile on my face. Well, I just want to inform you guys that, um, even though y'all will see it in the next couple seconds because it is 9.51 p.m. on uh, Tuesday, April 6th, 2021, and it's night. But when I wake up in the morning, I am hitting the road. And we're going to Tulsa. And I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm not going to record, of course, while I'm in the car. But we are going to Tulsa tomorrow to do some plane spotting at Tulsa International Airport. Airport. Um, I am kind of... I also have lunch with my sister. So, yeah. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this nice journey with us. Alright, so we are at Tulsa International Airport now, and to of course, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Ah, left my car on. Hold on, just a second. Left my car on by a. Is that a freaking idiot? And I told you guys we were going to Tulsa International Airport today, and. Um. I just saw United Jet take off, but we did not catch it because I was still trying to find a parking space. I'm sorry I did not catch it, but. There we are. There's an American jet right there. There's another American jet right there. There's a UPS jet. Don't know uh, what airlines that is. And then I can I can see a telephone of another American jet from here. I'm on level five of fine parking at the Tulsa International Airport, of course. And I think we're about, oh, I think we're about to see a plane land. Um, I'll be right back, guys. I'm just going to call my mom, but I'm not going to catch this landing because I don't want to record a conversation I'm going to have with my mom here in a second. I just saw two F-15s take off, but we're about to see a Southwest Airlines jet land here. I know it's Southwest because I cornered my radar. It's saying that this is a Southwest flight coming in. It is. Southwest flight 1186 and it's coming from Lovefield in Dallas, Texas. Sorry if you can hit, uh, sorry if you can, okay, what the actual heck? There's a hundred and plus people on board at that Southwest plane that's coming in. I don't know if y'all can see it, but now the two F-15s are going to land. Uh, it's coming from, like I said, Dallas, Lovefield. I think Lovefield's also the international airport. We're at, like I mentioned, we are at Tulsa International. Um. Yeah. Uh, they either should take off or get off the runway unless they want to get hit by a 737. That's for the hell of it. There was another plane. I bet they were just. Well, my camera already almost dead. Like what the actual heck? Oh god, that was one of the same F-15s you just watched take off. Sorry, I don't have to switch my phone. But luckily now, I can start a video on my phone, on my camera. And then I can, if I have to, I can finish it with my phone. And hopefully that will be the same in the two full flight videos. If the train comes by again today, I might record the train. But here is a Southwest Airlines jet about to touch down. And just gonna let you guys know that uh, I'm not actually gonna be here all day since I did promise I would take my sister to lunch who lives in the Tulsa area. For those of you who don't know, I do have a sister named Brittany and a sister named Jamie. And then I, I'm just gonna go ahead and flat out say, and I'm gonna make a whole nother video about this. But I had four brothers, now I'm down to three. What happened was one of them passed away. I'll explain in this. 
separate video of what happened. But I said that that Alpha S plane was smoking. If you want to know, between Gabe and Kale and Zach and Andrew, if you want to know which one it was, it was Gabe that passed away. And I'll explain in a separate video of what actually happened. But if y'all can't see it, that is the Southwest Airlines 737. I think it's a 737-700 because that's what like most of their fleet is. Might also be a 737-800. Here it is, a... Seven thirty-seven, seven hundred. So I'll be back if I can get. So one of these planes are about to take off right here. We got two American planes. Yeah, I think an Airbus A two twenty. That might be also an A three nineteen. I know it's an Airbus because I know what the engines look like. And an American Eagle jet. But we might also see a train go by here, because I mentioned I am also right next to um, railroad crossings. So yeah, um, kind of, I'm, my car is actually over here, I might move it down to a closer parking space, because I can't park here, but I am allowed to stand here and take some pictures or videos. I have some planes taking off and landing. Um, I did leave the... <laughs> I'm airport for a minute because I went to go have lunch with my sister and I went to go and I went to the Tulsa Air and Space Museum I just walked around I didn't I didn't do any of the fun exhibits or anything like actually being a part like like watch planetarium or whatever we're gonna see which one of these planes is taxiing because they're both of them have their engines on their lights are on too but I'm just waiting to see which one which one's taxi? I'm still trying to look around the sky here around Tulsa to see if I'm expecting a plane because I am at, like I mentioned, I am at Tulsa International Airport. And what's up we don't have another couple F 15 takeoffs like this morning? So I'll be right back. We need a train. Out! Oh! I said I'll be right back when the train. Either when the train starts moving or when, um,. One of these planes starts moving. Turn on. I turn that on. That road crossing is not functioning. As if the train's not even a hundred yards away from it. Lights should already be flashing. There we go. Lights are flashing. There's a chance though, I might... So the train's actually gonna wait... ...to move until the gates are down, and that kinda scared the living dog crap out of me! That kinda is scaring the living dog crap out of me right now. I think it's about to blow with the horn again. As there's another road crossing on the other side of the parking lot. I guess the triangle is awfully short. If I, if I want to be totally honest. Watch as soon as this train goes by when those planes start moving. Well, I'm still trying to figure out what that American 737's doing. I'm also trying to look at the skyline. Oh 
Fuck it. I don't get how... When the train was right next to road crossing, the crossing wasn't working. It's like the train was right next to it. I don't get that. We're gonna catch our first, well, our second landing of the day. I've yet to catch takeoff, but uh, this is N665 WA from Virgo Beach. I don't know if it's actually gonna land or not. Because it didn't say that Tosa was its final destination, but it's coming in to run a N66 right. But these two American planes, they're not supposed to be an American flight taking off from here. They said that the next American flight's supposed to take off from here within the, like the next 30 minutes. So, I think it's going to be one of these two planes right here. It's more than likely. Okay, I think that Eagle's going to take off. See what it's doing. Oh, well, it's gonna turn at the runway intersection. This might be a good time. I uh, am. I gate. I think that gate. That same gate just malfunctioned. So we're gonna go ahead and get a takeoff and a landing here. No, what? I'm just gonna move over here. I'm in the fine parking garage at the Tulsa, Interna Tulsa International Airport. Just wait a minute, see what this plane's gonna do. Well, first up, that one plane that just landed has to get off the runway. I think as soon as he gets off the runway, that American plane may likely kind of take off. I actually feel like I'm further away from a takeoff or landing than I am <laughs> from when I was spotting at X and A. I was actually inside a commercial aircraft not long ago. It was a American, old American MD-80. Once I see that plane moving again, we'll get back rolling. Are you dying, Jets? About to land. And this is coming from Denver, I believe. We have touchdown. I'm pretty sure this plane just came from Denver. Okay, I heard train. But I'm pretty sure that this plane just came from... Alright, yeah, I'm on the rails. Oh no, it came from Houston. It was United Flight 6080. I want to go ahead and look at departures because see if we're about to have an American plane take off here. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see what this American Eagle plane's gonna do. American plane, I don't know where it's going, but it probably got some maintenance done and probably heading to Dallas because our phone's showing me that I'm not supposed to have an American plane take off from here for for a little bit, so. No, I said we don't know where it's going. We might as well go ahead and catch its takeoff. And then, more than likely, that eagle's gonna follow it. 
or is that eagle going to the maintenance? Because this is America's uh, American's biggest maintenance base. It's Tulsa, Oklahoma. That plane has just left the runway and it's now climbing. So we're gonna see what this American Eagle plane is gonna do. As this plane has just taken off, I think it's going towards Dallas. I'm not 100% sure. Since it says the next flight, that is American Airlines, is not supposed to take off for another 30 minutes. So now this Eagle plane is about to be on the roll. Uh, he looked like he was going to taxi over to the maintenance space, but it's like I mentioned the last part. Oh man, I can't wait to sit right next to the engine as this is happening. As for those of you that don't know, again, I am flying American Airlines to um, Charlotte, North Carolina in May. Uh, I think my aircraft might change because uh, lately I've been seeing a bunch of um, CRJs flying from Charlotte instead of E-175s. But my phone is showing, the American app is showing I'm taking an E-175 to Charlotte. The American planes we just saw took off. Took off. They both are going towards Dallas. One was an A319 that was going from. That was going to Dallas. It um, was flight 9784, and then the other plane that was going to Dallas was 4365. What I think is strange is not even a minute apart. Why did two two planes take off going towards Dallas Fort Worth? And it looks like that United Jet is about to pull in the gate. But I I think that's strange that that we just saw two American planes, and they're both heading towards. Dallas. Because uh, I just pulled up Flight Radar 24. Okay, our next takeoff. I'll let you guys give you guys an idea when I come back. Our next takeoff is at 140. And but our next landing. We should expect it before too long. We should expect it in about 10 minutes. For a flight that's supposed to come in from Salt Lake City. So I'll let you guys know when I. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see where this flight from Salt Lake City is. It's 11 minutes out, so. We should see it before too long. I should see it within the next 10 minutes. When I have a visual, I will come back. I kept saying I should see this CRJ 900 coming from Salt Lake City. Delta Connection. I'm like, I should see it. Well, this kind of hit it behind the building for a half second. But the plane's on final approach. It is Delta Flight 3729 coming from Salt Lake City, Utah. Wait, I have a question. Is Utah even a hub for Delta? And I'm surprised that American, I read that American is the biggest airlines in the world. That I was told that Delta is actually the most popular. Airline in the world. I was waiting for a second. Oh, we have touchdown. All right. I might do like one more takeoff and one more landing, and then I might go go ahead and head towards my house. Uh, just because it is kind of boring at this airport, and yeah. I'll see you guys in just a bit.